Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the installment of Scott Selections here for Thursday, January 28th. For you in today's play of the day, a quick recap of what happened yesterday. Uh, yesterday was a little bit of a losing day. It ended up going 3-4 and four overall, or a little bit over a unit loss there. So that was pretty unfortunate. Uh, we ended up winning the standalone video with Wofford and the Citadel over 77.5 in the first half at minus 105 on Foxbet. Ended up landing 80, so pretty nice win there. Uh, go through the rest of the games here. Gave out the Pacers minus two, that one. Cavs minus two and a half, that one. Gave out the Mavs plus four, lost. Gave out Boise State minus two and a half, they ended up getting killed. Gave out VMI over, that lost. Uh, ended up giving out the real bad beat of the night, which was Seton Hall money line at plus 115 on Bet Online. That's the difference between a losing day and a winning day. Uh, if they end up holding on and not blowing a 16 point lead at home and I believe a 12-point uh, lead with about 13 minutes left or so, they'd end up having a winning day. But either way, Seton all fell apart, and Creighton came from behind. But it happens. College basketball, even though it's my favorite sport to actually watch and bet on, it's a minefield out there, and every now and then you step on one. But it is what it is. I look for a bounce-back day here on Thursday. And for today's play today, we're going to be looking at a matchup in the big sky between Weber State and Idaho. And for this play today, we're going to be taking Weber State minus 12.5 it's available on Foxbet at plus 100 at time recording of 9.04 a.m. Eastern time. A couple reasons why I like Weber State in this spot. First of all, Weber State's been the much better team so far this season. Weber State is 7-4 and four overall, 2-2 two and two in conference play, whereas Idaho is 0-11 and 0-8 and and in conference play. But in addition to the awful record that Idaho has, this team is terrible in pretty much every single metric possible, and I'll compare them right now. So Weber State ranks 208th in offensive efficiency, which is – i say middle of the road, a little, little bit below average, but still, you know, fine. And Idaho ranks 335th in offensive efficiency. So Idaho has a bottom 40 offense in the entire country. You move it over to defense, Weber State ranks 191st in defense efficiency. This is all according to Ken Palm, by the way. And Idaho ranks 348th in a defensive efficiency. Plus, you look at rebounding, Weber State ranks 162nd in rebounding rate, whereas Idaho ranks 309th in rebounding rate. So all three of those measurables that I just mentioned, Weber State is ahead of, of Idaho by at least 120. It's 120, 150, 140. These really aren't even close. Weber State is just better in all three areas, which are the pretty much the only three areas in basketball when it comes to efficiency that I think really dictate a spread. How well do you play offense? How well do you play defense? And how well do you rebound the ball? But looking at Idaho, I, I know some of you might be scared off by taking a road team in conference play playing double digits. However, Idaho at home has been useless this season. Uh, in addition to being 0-4, obviously straight up because Idaho is still 0-11 overall, Idaho is also yet to cover a spread at home this season. Idaho is 0-4 ATS at home with three losses coming by at least 13 points. So this team has gotten blown out repeatedly at home, and I think Weber State should be able to get the job done and win this game pretty handily. Weber State should be motivated for this game as well. Weber State was in the middle of a four-game winning streak However, that got snapped on the road against Southern Utah in its last game. So I think Weber should be very motivated to get back on track after having his win streak snapped. And it seemed like it was peaking until it had a bit of a setback over uh, its last game. But for that reason, I think Weber State will come out, beat up on this weaker team, and win this game probably by about 15 to 20. So for that reason, the play of the day once again here for Thursday, January 28th, is going to be on Weber State minus 12 and a half, which is available on Fox Bet at plus 100. That's been Stalmascott Selections. Good luck to all of you and your respective best today. Bye, everyone.